go. Hi everyone. Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff, where we'll be telling a story a day until the children's library reopens. Well, many of you guessed the um, story we're going to be doing today. I had shown you the clue, and indeed, it's going to be Clifford the Small Red Puppy. Let me begin. Oh, wait a second, I forgot. We have Oberon with us as always, ever faithful. He's wearing red today, I think in honor of, of Clifford. So, all right, the story begins. And as many of ours do, there is a sad part in it, but don't worry, the ending is very happy. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Yesterday, my friend Molly said, I got my dog at a very fancy pet shop. Where did you get yours? So I told her how I got Clifford. When I was little, very little, I lived in the city and I didn't have a dog. One day, the man down the uh, hall called us. His dog had just had puppies and he wanted to give me one of them. Well, one, part, uh, one of the puppies was smaller than all the rest. And the man said, no, don't pick him. He's, he's much too small. I, I don't think he's gonna grow very well at all. But I love that little puppy. I loved it so much right away. I named him Clifford. He was so tiny that I had to feed him with one of my doll's baby bottles. And then we went to the store and we got a collar, the tiniest collar we could find. And it was much, much too big. And when he began to eat his dog food from uh, his bowl, well, we had to watch him all the time. And he was so little that he was always getting lost in our apartment. One day he climbed into dad's food. We could hear him going woof, 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 but we couldn't find him. And sure enough, when dad put his foot in, ouch, we found him then. Oh, Daddy said that Clifford was just too small. Mommy said so too. They didn't think that he would ever grow, that he would always be very, very tiny. Well, that night, I told Clifford that I wished that he could grow to be a big, strong, healthy dog. I told him, I told him I loved him very much. The next morning, he looked bigger to me. And when he went to his um, bowl to eat, he had an easier time. And that collar, well, it wasn't quite so big anymore. In fact, by the time dad came home, the collar was too small. By bedtime, Clifford's tiny basket, it seemed a little too small for him. So I let him sleep on the pillow right next to me. Oh no, it was a mistake. The next morning, mom said, I think Clifford looks different. Dad said, I think he's growing. Well, when we looked outside, oh no, had the door to our apartment grown smaller or had Clifford grown bigger? Oh, whoa. Sure enough, he stayed out in the garden and we got a call from our neighbor who lived upstairs. She said that Clifford had grown so big, he was looking in the window. It was all the neighbors could do. They were so excited. They came out and they were cheering and shouting, Clifford, Clifford. Well, he continued growing. He couldn't fit in our apartment anymore. There was just one thing to do. We moved him to the country 
My uncle had a big house with a big backyard. Oh, I was so sad that day. I thought, will I ever see Clifford again? I was crying and Clifford, Clifford missed me so much. This is the sad part, but don't worry, it's going to get happy. One day, we got a surprise. It was a great surprise. My uncle wanted mom and dad to come out to the country. He was opening up a new store and he wanted them to work with him. We moved right away. And guess what? As the moving truck pulled up, someone was waiting for us. It was Clifford. He was so happy to see us and we were so happy to see him. And I said, Clifford, you're perfect now. Don't grow anymore. And we laughed and we laughed and we were so happy to be together. So I finished the story of how we had gotten Clifford and I turned to my friend Molly and I said, Molly, what? How, how did you get your dog? And Molly just laughed and laughed and laughed. And she said, you've got the best dog in the world. And I think, I think Emily Elizabeth probably has one of the best dogs in the world. Right, Oberon? Well, that's the end of the story of Clifford, the small red puppy. But it's time for, yes, indeed, it's time for choices, vanilla or chocolate. Many of you wrote in that you uh, voted on chocolate. So you vanilla people out there, get your votes recorded. Um, today, yes, indeed, today, we're going to be celebrating Anna's birthday. It was earlier in the month, but... It's a great day to sing happy birthday to Anna. And tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be a, a relatively special day. It's the name day for all the Josephs in the world. So all you Joes and Josephs and Joannas, stay tuned and we'll be singing to you tomorrow. Talking about tomorrow, here's the clue. This is going to be a clue for the story we're going to read. Ready, everybody? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anna. Happy birthday to you. Bye, everybody. Love you all.